Welcome to Nerd Flicks and Chill. I am Brad Reed. Ooh, ooh. I'm Cameo. How are you doing? I'm good. Or are you asking me or the audience? Is it like the uh, the rhetorical how you doing? Or do you want to know what's going on in my know. life? I, I would like to know what's going on in your life and what's going on in our listeners slash watchers lives. Okay. Well, the listeners slash watchers lives, they're watching this show right now. They're prepared for any spoilers for The Mandalorian, the last episode, the season finale. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're, you know, sitting back, eating some potato chips, dipping it in some potato salad that they made with raisins. <laughs> and they're living the best, their best life, Cameo. Now me, life sucks. <laughs> Why I got that? I got speared by a deer. Oh yeah. Uh I was just driving, you know, and then we're in Oklahoma, so the chances of you hitting a deer are usually pretty decent. But I got mm -hmm. like T-boned by a deer. So I'm driving and uh all of a sudden I see I see a deer run out in front of me. Well, I know. You see one deer, you're probably going to see another deer. So I look around and I slow down just for a second and like, I didn't even see it. It just bam hits my, uh, like a car. And like the first thing that I, I even know happens, like all the glass in my back window just explodes, like hits me in the back of the head. Like, so then I'm like, okay, was somebody shooting at the deer that just went ahead of me and like blew out my window. So I pull over and I, I, uh, look. And I saw another deer run, run away. So it was fine, I guess. But I like, uh -huh. look, I look in my window and it's like deer hair all in it and stuff. I was like, dude. So it hit the back quarter panel of my car, put a huge dent in that, and then bounced into the window and broke that. Wow. A thousand dollar deductible cameo. That. Man. And I ain't going to get, no, you know, that deer ain't going to pay for none of that. No. You know, I'm glad the deer li lived, but I hope it was sore for a couple of days. Uh, for the rest of his days. No, I don't. No, no, no. That, yeah, yep. <laughs> I don't want him to suffer for the rest of his days, no, but I hope for for just it. a couple of days he was like, you know, next time I might just look both ways. <laughs> or with my high. deer eyes on the side of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, that's been my animals, opinion. man. Animals. Yeah. So that's been that's been what's up. Deer torpedoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know, it, it was a really good week because we got a really great episode of The Mandalorian. Yeah. Which is what we're here to discuss right now. Uh and before we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you like, comment. And let me know how you're doing and uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you can get all the nerd flicks and chills whenever we uh, shoot them out to you. Yeah. Yes. Or shall I say torpedo them out to you? <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, chapter 24, the return was this episode of the Mandalorian season three season finale. Spoilers galore here. Cameo just in general before we break down some of the little finer points of the episode, mm -hmm. um, what do you think of this episode? I texted you while I was watching it. Cause you had already watched it at that point. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is the most star Wars thing I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Your thoughts. I will also have to agree. Um, I thought this was probably one of the best seasons of yeah. star Wars or Star Wars, uh, The Mandalorian. Um, but yeah, I really thought that it wrapped up everything pretty nicely. Uh, I, I will say that the filler episodes was not really needed. Um, I guess you could have said, uh, yes, they were, but a whole episode, I think not. I agree. I agree. Uh, I just feel like, you know, 
again, spoilers if you haven't watched it and you know you're several episodes behind. Uh, don't listen. But I feel like you could have told us that Moff Gideon and the whatever they are now <laughs> that um are they the um well. Uh, I'll just call them the Empire. I can't think of their name. Um, their sect, I guess you could call them. I don't know. Were they? they are anyway, you talking about the Imperial Super Commandos? Yeah, like you could have told us that they were inhabiting Mandalore, which I kind of figured that was that was a um, a possibility when uh, when one of the X Wing pilots. Uh, check the transport that was carrying Moff Gideon. There were uh, uh, Beskar mm -hmm. armor chipped in the in the walls of the ship, and I was like, "Oh well, maybe there might be a spy within the Mandalorians." Yeah, but then I was like, "Uh, that's too. That'd be too too." Um, uh, what's the word? Obvious. Obvious. Yes. Well, be too obvious. Well, a lot of people are uh, pointing their fingers at the armor. And I can see that. I can see that because. And this might be something that you saw, too, that she might have been a follower of Darth Maul. Yeah. Uh I, I would like to see, I, and I think that we are going to get to see some of that. A lot of people thought that it was going to play out in this season. They thought maybe even in the season finale, we were going to mm -hmm. find out, but we didn't. We don't know that she's a spy or anything like that yet. Yet. But it's, it's still a possibility because she just might just mm -hmm. be laying low. Although she did kind of like help out while, you know, they defeated Moff Gideon and everything. Or did they? We didn't see a body. A lot of people were saying, too, that his suit might have been able to withstand that fire. I don't think so. But here's, you know, we're the cat's out of the bag. We said spoilers, all of that. Moff Gideon had a whole army of his clones. But what we don't know is if Moff Gideon was a clone or not. Mm -hmm. What we saw might have been a prototype of Moff Gideon. He might be somewhere else chilling and he sent his clone to deal with this and get killed basically. Yeah. So I don't really think that that's the necessarily the case here, but it's a possibility. Uh, the other possibility is even if he did, if he did bite the dust at the end, he might not have, that might not be the last we see of Moff Gideon because there's no guarantee that those are the only clones that, that uh, Din Jaren destroyed. Those might not be the only clones that he had. Yeah, and, and he did say, you know, those were the ones that had the metachlorians for him to be, you know, a Jedi. So there might be some regular Moff Gideons out there Right. Um, like, right. like you said, or, you know, that was a regular clone of Moff Gideon. Um, because I, I feel, I feel like, you know, the way Star Wars has been going and, you know, how we saw at the end of, uh, the last trilogy of Star Wars, mm -hmm. we saw all those clones. Do we know if Palpatine is actually really dead? Maybe, maybe not don't know but there's a whole other you know theory going on into that uh when the new star wars uh movies are coming out really but, what's the theory that palpatine's gonna be return another clone uh not as a clone but as ray oh because because remember when uh luke was you know fighting palpatine and basically he said if you kill me we're going to, you know, basically I'm going to live on through you. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't do that because that's what he he wanted Luke to do. Well, Ray actually killed him. Mm. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that oh, God. movie. <laughs> no, but anyway, 
so I think that's, you know, that's how Palpatine will his head in, is through Ray, maybe, but that's just a theory that I saw online. I don't know. I don't really know. But I don't know, I don't know how the force works. <laughs> you know, so it could, you know, work in many different ways. But, you know, back to the Mandalorian. I, I have to agree with you. I don't think Moff Gideon is dead. I think that might have been a clone or one of many clones. Or again, if he is dead, I still don't think it's the last we see of Moff Gideon. Right, right. Which is great. And if I that wanna... was the real Moff Gideon, then, you know, there, there's going to, there, there's always a contingency plan. Yeah. And we thought Palpatine was dead for the longest mm-hmm. and he came back. Right. Years later. Right. So yeah. this might be one of those deals again. But I would I would have to say if Star Wars regurgitates that, then I'm I will be kind of upset because it's like we don't need to keep doing that. We don't need to keep reliving the same storyline. Mm-hmm. But we'll see what happens. I I John uh Giancarlo Esposito Esposito. Mm-hmm. Giancarlo Esposito. Um, mm-hmm. I think he goes down as like, I mean, he's up in my top favorite of villains. Oh yeah, Star Wars wise. I mean, villains <laughs> Breaking Bad wise of all time, but um, yeah. Star Wars like you know, of course, Darth Vader, Darth Maul. I, I liked Kylo Ren. I think they could have mm-hmm. done better with him, but right there behind him, I think I have. Giancarlo Esposito. Who am I leaving out? I mean, because, you know, there was Count Dooku and there was other villains, but... Uh, the ones that really stood out you were, know, the, were, were them. <laughs> Snoke. Eh. But he was a villain, I'm just saying. Right. But I put Giancarlo up above, like, he's he's great. I love him. He makes yeah, it so he good. Really he, it, like, okay, I... When I say sometimes, like, I feel like this is more Star Wars than Star Wars things I've seen in a while. You know, back in the day, that was the whole thing is you had a cool cast of you had, you know, Luke, Han Solo, but you had Darth Vader and he was just as important as anybody else. Like along along the lines of like Rebels and Clone Wars and all that, yeah, Darth Maul, Darth Vader, they show up at times, you know. But it's kind of like not a singular villain to to get attached to either. And I like mm. that Moff Gideon has been kind of like our Darth Vader recently. And yeah. you, know, he, you know, he has like a similar type suit and all that, and and that's but that's cool. I, I really enjoyed that part of it. I really like Moff Gideon. Yeah, and you know, I want to say something too about his suit. His suit was, you know, Beskar armor. But also he seemed a lot more powerful. Did they did they have like any robotic in those suits? I'm wondering because he, when he broke the uh the the saber. Mhm. Like he just did it with his bare hand, like crunch. Yeah. Which, is, which means he if, could also be a clone, like a super clone. Right. You know, is, or, I mean, I know he's humanoid, mm-hmm. but is he like, you know, like what we would see in like Marvel or DC or like Invincible also where, you know, you're from another planet, you're going to be be stronger than the average human. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. So is he, is he like Superman? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't know these things. But you know, again, maybe they're the Imperials are doing something different to where they are making androids now, yeah, instead of uh, or I would say like humanoid androids, um, human like androids, whatever, however you want to call them. Because I, I just thought, you know, well, you got Beskar armor doesn't mean it's going to make you stronger, yeah, yeah, the armor so, wouldn't necessarily, but something was going on there, right. Because he didn't have the force. So, uh, but maybe he's just jacked up on energy drinks or something. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to mention the last couple of episodes where we've seen the Imperial Guard and they come in 
like just real badass and they they like for the first time ever to me the imperial guards are kind of spooky like yeah they you know what i mean they came in mm -hmm. all like almost slow motion like and like just they they bring on like an impending kind of doom feeling that you're like oh no and in this right. in this episode man like they almost did it to grogu and din jaren like they almost got uh you know beat by them but that was a great fight and like they they could do something with the imperial guards going forward that i think would be kind of a cool show too like, yeah like something or the like with or the like the knights of ren yeah or something like that well what uh, are what in uh oh man in the obi-wan show what was the uh what are the they're they're not sith but they hang you know they're like the enforcers what were they yeah. called uh inquisitors inquisitors that's who like the uh the imperial guard almost have that kind of aura about them like mm. when they show up you're pooping your pants it's about to go down yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so i really thought that was uh, really cool the way they used them uh, I really thought that it was neat, like with all the action scenes with the ships and, and and the fight scenes there, and then like the fight scenes between the Mandalorians and like they had that whole where they like come together and clash. Now I did mm -hmm. think that they let me down a little on that scene because I thought that there was going to be more carnage. But <laughs> now one thing I noticed, then Jaren like. And I felt like I feel like they, uh, you know, Star Wars, especially the uh, uh, earlier movies, have kind of been ambiguous about the way people die. Like they they weren't quite, but like Din Jaren's like popping necks, and I thought that they, they were a little more aggressive on this one. And I'm like, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, before like you're shooting under the helmet. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. dang. Yeah. You like <laughs> this is like some of the walking like, dead you know stuff right you here. You know they're dead. They're not just passed out. <laughs> yeah. Cause like when I was little, yeah. I feel like I thought like the stormtroopers just like woke up later and were like, oh well, we didn't really do a good job today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. The phasers were not set to stun. Yeah, because like they wouldn't have any like blast holes or like blood coming uh, out or nothing. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I just remember when uh, one of my friends was trying to explain that. I was like, I don't even see any blood. Yeah. They were like, well, because of the heat of the it laser, cauterizes just it. cauterizes it. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, cool. That's fine. But it, some of the times where they got hit wasn't like a death yeah. dealing blow. Right. That's why I'm like, that's why I felt like they just passed out. They <laughs> right. were like, you know what? I know what's good for me. I'm just going to lay down. Right. Because <laughs> I can't hit nothing. I can't shoot and hit something to save my life. Liter uh, literally. Yeah. So <laughs> um, I want to bring up my, my conspiracy theory, though, Cameo, because a lot was made of this season where Pedro Pascal, Din Jaren, and Katie Sackhoff, Bo-Katan, like she, she takes her helmet off. It's cool. But then Jaren, he's back to the creed, so he doesn't do mm -hmm. it. Uh, which he didn't do it a whole lot in the first couple seasons either. But right. I had I told you that I was like, I wonder how much we're actually seeing Pedro Pascal. Well, he does mm -hmm. have a body double, I saw. So yeah. did, did we ever see Pedro Pascal this season? Because I don't think we did. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I'd say maybe one episode. I say maybe one. Mm, I don't remember, but I think he's just doing the voice. I really do. Yeah. I, I doubt we well, see there, him very often to be honest. Well, there's, there's three different people. Three. Um, yeah. And the only reason why I say that because in the title of their character, it's the Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. I was, cause if, I, I was looking, were, go ahead. If they were somebody else, they would say, you know, uh, there's this guy named Brendan Wayne. Yes. He's the Mandalorian and Mandalorian warrior. There's Barry Lowen, who's the Mandalorian, uh, a Clatoonian uh, pirate pilot, and a quarry navigator. Yeah, and on IMDb, it says, for over three seasons, Brendan Wayne has starred as the titular Mandalorian. Wow. 
Like, no, he hasn't. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Pedro Pascal has starred as the Mandalorian. The, Brandon Wayne has maybe been the one we've seen on screen, but come on now. Let's not. Yeah, it says that he's been in nine episodes from 2019 to 2023. Mm-hmm. Um, Latif Crowder, he was uh, in ep- eight episodes. Uh, so I'm going to assume he was all of Mandalorian this season because it says he was the Mandalorian eight episodes, 2023. Yeah. Um, and Barry Lowen, he was in eight episodes total between 2020 and 2023. Mm-hmm. So, and I guess, you know, and, and, you know, Pedro Pascal, 24 episodes, but that just might've been, I think it's his majority voice. Of those is just the voice. Yeah. I think so. Like he's got it so easy. I bet. I bet when they told him on Last of Us that he couldn't wear a helmet the whole season, he's like, "Damn it. right." <laughs> <laughs> I actually got to work. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can put a pin in that. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm serious. He's like, "Really? I'm like I'm just gonna right. do movies from now on where I wear helmets." <laughs> Oh, uh, that's great. Um, but he did. I mean, I love it. I love Pedro Pascal. I love Bo Katan. I thought all that was awesome. The story mm-hmm. was great this this season. But um, you know, like every great Star Wars movie, this one ends with a ceremony. And so they're having like a little ceremony, which which by the way, Grogu, as as time has gone on in in especially in this episode, he was doing a few things with the force and not Mm -hmm. like immediately like collapsing and passing out. So he's getting stronger with the force for sure. They showed that. But then, um, then Jaren wanted to Mandalorian wanted to sign Grogu up like that. Cause they were having a, a ceremony, uh, where Paz, is it Paz? The one who died? Uh Paz Vizsla, yeah. Yeah. His son, they were making him, like, official, like, right, as the Mandalorian and the Creed and all that. This is the way. And mm-hmm. so, uh, <clears throat> then Jaren wanted to also sign him up, Grogu. And they were like, well, he's he can't speak, so he can't recite the Creed. So his idea is, like, he's going to adopt him. So he does adopt him, which is cute. Everybody loves mm-hmm. it. But then we find out that because now his name is Din Grogu, like Din is the is not Din Jaren's first name like I thought. It's like his mm-hmm. family name, like Yao Ming. His, yeah, because I guess it's like his clan. Yeah, like I it, for it was forever and a day before I realized back in the day that Yao Ming Yao was his last name because it was always on his jersey. Hmm. But yeah, so we were like, you know, I'm sure everybody was like, oh, Din J- Okay, all right. So right. now his name is Din Grogu. I'm going to change it to Lil Din Din. I, I like, like that, that better. Yeah, I like it. Lil Din Din. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when he gets older, we can just call him Din Din. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, But <laughs> I one one note I made. So they they're by the water, right? And I'm like, oh god, oh no, the mythosaur, <laughs> right? Like, because the up. whole season they they've they've <laughs> they've conditioned us to be like, oh god, stay away from the water. <laughs> and I, I was like, this is how you're gonna end it with homeboy getting swallowed up. That's sad, right. sad. Right. But it never happened. It didn't happen. Uh, like, hey, y'all really trying to kill this character off? <laughs> dang, up. dang! Y'all let him get <laughs> sn- snatched by a dragon, and now he's about to get. It's the mythosaur, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Um, what else? I have another note here that I have no idea what this says, so I'm not. Oh, we already talked about that, but um, that wasn't the total, the complete end because it did continue on after the little ceremony. Mm-hmm. Uh, where Din Jaren and Grogu, Din Grogu, they so it's basically Grogu and Jaren, if you want to mm-hmm. call them by their first names. <laughs> but uh, they meet up with Carl Weathers' character, and he gives them like a little, 
cabin where they can go, you know, chill and not have to be basically road pirates or whatever. So Mm -hmm. they have that. But then Jaren's like, he meets up with Captain Carson Teva and he's like, hey, uh, we, we want to take on some basically case by case jobs. We don't want to just be doing all this stuff, but you need help. We, we need the work and I need to teach Grogu the way. And mm-hmm. so it's set up because me and you had talked about last episode. We were like, is there going to be a season four? Because now the talk is that everything, every Ahsoka, Mandalorian, all this is going to get tied up with a movie. Mm-hmm. But there definitely is going to be a season four, I guess. They've already, they're already kind of at work on it. And this set set it up so that it, we're going back to maybe more kind of like the beginning where it's just the two dens mm-hmm. instead of like all this cooperation with the Mandalorians and all that. So it's going to be more like them, you know, next season seems to be more like the Din family bounty hunters. <laughs> Dins the bounty hunters. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of what do you think about that for next season? You, like a return to kind of like more of the beginning of the of this show and how it was at first. Yeah, I, I like that. I would like to see where they would take it from there. Yeah, because I, I, I do. Because I want to say the last two seasons of the Mandalorian. They like don't get me wrong, they were good, but they they weren't like that new fresh car mm-hmm. smell mm-hmm. as the first season was. Now don't get me wrong, I think season three is my. I think I said earlier that it was my favorite season. I'm gonna have to retract that because I, I remember the first season how excited I was for that. I, I will say this is you know, obviously right behind <laughs> season one. Uh, I It was just some of those, you know, filler episodes that, that, you know, didn't, it's not like they didn't make sense because they told you a little bit more what you needed to know for the finale. Uh, but I think we could have did without those filler episodes and had like some more action. And I know people are like, oh, you got to have story. I mean, you can have story with action. Yeah, people intersperse it, it, not just make it a whole episode of its own, but intersperse the story right. a little bit. Exactly. Because I agree with you. It didn't really tell us, like, we didn't need that whole episode to get what we needed, but that's okay. I, I mean, because we, we already knew at the very beginning that somebody was making clones. Yeah. We already knew that at the very, you know, towards the, let's say mid or the end of the first season. That's why did Yoda, baby Yoda, before we knew his name. Then, you know, we, we go off, do this little thing with pirates, Boba Fett, you know, all this fun stuff. Then we get to the, the meat and potatoes of the, you know, the climax of the whole story. It's like, oh, it was Moff Gideon this whole time. Moff Gideon was making clones of himself, you know, with the Metachlorian so he could be a Mandalorian Jedi. I mean, we we could have, you know, knocked that out, you know, towards the beginning of the season uh, or, you know, in the middle of this season, however you wanted to do it. But the whole, the whole episode, or that whole episode of just talking and just like, come on, man, like, we didn't need you to have a whole, you know, flirty relationship or best friend wannabe type storyline. And then, Oh, you got tricked. We already knew that was going to happen. Like, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Somebody was going to get hurt. I still believe that the season finale and the episode that preceded it were a couple of the best episodes of the whole series. Oh, Um, Oh, most yeah, well, I was going to say the season finale of uh, Obi-Wan mm-hmm. and then like this, both of those were like, oh, man, it's so good to be a Star Wars fan during those times. Yeah. And then come August, Ahsoka, I can't wait, man. You know, I, I'm a, I'm not saying that I'm not excited, but I'm not like, 
I'm kind of probably one of those. It's probably going to be one of those deals where it's going to be better than I think it's going to be. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. Ahsoka's cool. I don't know. <laughs> Ahsoka's cool. But yeah, like, if you're uh, listening to the, if you're listening to this, you we weren't dead silent. We weren't editing or anything <laughs> like that. We were just making faces at each other. So, well, the truth <laughs> is, when when I first heard that there was going to be a season, like a a show that was all about the Mandalorian, I was like, Ooh. Mm. right. Uh, but I couldn't have predicted that there'd be a little baby Yoda. And what would this show be what? like though without a baby Yoda though? I don't know. I, I just I, I think, don't know. I don't. Cause I loved, I love the Mandalorian and all of his stuff, mm -hmm. but I just don't know if people would just be so enamored with it. Like I am. And you know, and maybe that's the reason why the book of Boba Fett didn't really do so well until they show up. Right. Yeah, you're right. So it might've been something just like that. But then again, I would have to say, yeah, you're right. You're right on that. It's it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been the same without a baby Grogu. The, or the, the thing is, maybe is, not a, go even ahead. a Jedi for that matter, or a uh, youngling or Padawan, whatever you want to call them. It, it, I don't think it would have been the same. Well, it's just that, like, it'd be it'd probably be maybe almost the same. Like, I think if they had made like a baby Chewbacca that he had had to take with them. I think people would have loved that and that have been adorable too. You know what I mean? But it's because right. those are ties to the original movies. Like baby Yoda. Yeah. He's not Yoda. He's Grogu. We all know this, but he looks just like Yoda. And now we're getting to see what Yoda would have looked like and acted like when he was a baby. So it, it really, like I say, it ties it. It really ties the room together. Right. So, uh, that's why I'm saying without that, I don't know if I don't know if it would have hit like it did. So and, and you're probably right. It, it wouldn't. But I will say that, you know, with the book of Boba Fett, we didn't really get anything good up until like the last few episodes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they brought back Cad Bane. Yeah. Which, you know, we found out that's how he has that big dent in his head. <laughs> uh, was it, was it he the reason? I think that so. Boba Fett had a dent in the helmet? Okay. I think so. I can't remember now. So, I'll go back and watch it. Yeah. But, you know, that was cool because, again, it brought Cad Bane back, who was such an awesome baddie in the Clone Wars saga. So... And then obviously when Ahsoka came and um oh, what's his name? Oh my goodness. Din Djarin and Grogu came to to help out the the cause, you know, that was that was the cool thing about everything. Yeah. And I think and I'm not saying you got to have to you have to have a Jedi essence or presence in the show, but it does help out quite a bit. I mean, the Jedi and the, the dark side and the, you know, all of that is what the, the movies were based on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I agree. And I, I mean, you know, that's cool that like Ahsoka, it follows another Jedi. It's just that she wasn't from like the original stuff. That's the only reason why I personally am not like, mm -hmm. you know, as attached to it as maybe like I was Obi-Wan. Right, right. But I'm still I'm sure it'll still be good. I like Ahsoka in Clone Wars and everything else that, you know, her character's been in, so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just say that you hate women characters. I hate Fred. women Jedi, I think. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. Like why? What a no, I'm just kidding. Uh there haven't Go been too many women Jedi though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right. And then she's like, <laughs> got you by the right. throat. <laughs> or or other places where you're like, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> I'll make my sandwich myself. I'll make you one too. <laughs> so, what you want on it, baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that wouldn't be happening. I don't, okay, like, I don't have nothing against 
Jedi women, I dang sure ain't dating one. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't need to get force choked. Because <laughs> I'm acting up. Right? Because I think that they would do that. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> we got the power now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cameo. So uh, season three, um, I would say was a success. Because there was really was. only the one filler episode. Success. Yeah. To me, there was only one filler episode that I would call filler. Yeah. So other than that, and there was the episode where with Jack Black and Lizzo that people kind of were like, yeah, but I thought that was a really good episode. Yeah. So uh, overall, I, I think, you know, I, re I highly recommend it. And uh, I'm looking forward to season four already where they can. Fight the remnants of the Empire for the New Republic. Oh, they were saying that the Captain Tava that I mentioned might be, he might be in that New Republic show that's going to come soon. The, oh, okay. What is it? The Knights of the New Republic or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Hey, real quick. I, I think I heard this. Did you hear this? That the new Star Wars video game is digital release only? Uh, better not be. I heard that it's digital release only, I believe, Cameo. Because I thought I, I could be wrong. I thought people were kind of complaining about that because they were like, well, what happens if the servers go down or blah, 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 and I want to just play the game, you know what I mean? Like on my PS5 and they're saying, I, I think so. You should look into that, hmm. Cameo. Let us know for the next nerd update. We'll do. We'll do. Have you got the game? Is it, isn't it supposed to be out soon? Yeah, this Friday. So it's come out Friday. Nice. Hopefully I do like a early release because I want to play it as yeah. soon as I get up. Yeah. And then uh, next week we got Guardians of the Galaxy. So we'll have to watch that and report back to you guys on how great it was. Mm -hmm. I'm, oh, hoping it's, that. I'm hoping it's awesome. It's got to be. For the last one. yeah you know james gunn hasn't really disappointed us in the stuff that he's created yeah yeah i mean i guess volume two was kind of meh, meh. <laughs> yeah but i mean i think it'll be good i think it'll be good to wrap up everything and then mm. find out who the new guardians are who's leaving who's coming back which I feel like maybe two of them are going to be coming back. I've heard that a lot of this is going to like center around rocket this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that'd be interesting. You think he's a spy? Yep. For the FBI. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Well, and, we'll, yeah. we'll report back to you on a nerd nerds to men on films, whether we loved it or hated it. Hated it. <laughs> but I don't think we're I don't think we'll have hated it at all. So. No. No. All right, Cameo, that's a wrap. All right, and uh keep it nerdy. <laughs>